everyone. Steve with Off Grid 48. Welcome back to the Wood Gasifier Builders Workshop. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to do the base assembly. So we're going to walk through all the parts, and we're going to look at the completed assembly. We'll talk about the welds. Uh, so the components. We'll start off here. We've got this uh, three inch by five inch by one eighth wall um, riser, and this is what holds up the the frame. Then we've got the one and a half inch square tube. We've got two lengths at 38 inches. Then we've got four at 12 and a quarter inches. This is going to uh, serve the frame that the reactor and the filter is going to sit on. Then we've got the great motor cover that's going to provide protection to the great motor. We've got a post, a mounting post. We're going to mount the switch box for all the switches. Um, We've got a heat shield that's going to provide some heat protection between the lower part of the reactor and the battery box and the switch box. Um, we've got these eight tank mounts. These are quarter inch uh, plate metal at uh, two inches by two inches with a three eighths inch hole in them. These are going to be welded to the frame uh, and then bolted for the reactor and the filter tank. We've got two little uh, pieces of three eighths inch pipe that's going to be used for bolt to put the battery box support on. We've got these two battery box supports that's going to hold up the actual battery box frame. Um, we've got the great motor mount plate that's going to be underneath that the great motor is going to be mounted to. <clears throat> and then we've got four pieces of angle iron. This is one and a uh, quarter inch angle iron and it's going to serve as a box, battery box. Uh, so then with that, we've got a bunch of different assemblies, drawings that you can have reference. So, um, you know, here's, a, here's one that kind of shows you the overall uh, layout and the measurements of where everything goes. This one uh, is showing us um, where the tank mounts are, where the bottom mounting plate goes. Uh, this is a layout of where the one and a half inch tube gets placed on the three by five risers and also shows you where the bolt pattern is to drill the holes for the wheels. Uh, another view of the box with the one and a half inch tube shows you where it's placed on the uh, three by five risers. You've got a little assembly drawing for the heat shield that goes in between the reactor and the battery box. And then we have another separate set, uh, little assembly drawing uh, for the battery box itself. So lots of detailed instructions for it. Um, pretty straightforward. This is a great assembly to start your build with. It's all structural. So if your welds don't look pretty, uh, it doesn't matter as long as they hold everything together. It's a great, great way to get your system start dialed in, uh, start working on your welding skills. And uh, you can always use grinder to kind of clean up your welds and make it look pretty. But there's no leak testing involved. It's just all structural. So it's a great uh, assembly to get started on. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and uh, weld these pieces together and then we'll come back, take a look at the completed assembly. We'll walk through the welds that we did and then types of welds uh, and then go from there. All right, welcome back. Okay, so we've got our parts welded up. So now we can go back, go through, kind of take a look at what we did. As far as welders go, uh, just in general, you can really use any kind of welder that you want. Long, uh, make sure it's at least 180 amps. You can do stick welding, uh, TIG welding, MIG uh, welding, uh, whatever you want. Uh, just make sure, because some of the material is quarter inch, uh, you want to have at least 180 amps. So we've got everything pretty well welded up. So you can see here how we've got the welds on the between the uh, one and a half inch pipe. He's got that welded and ground down. Um, and then on the outside is, is welding. He's basically got some skip welds to hold the one and a half inch tube onto the three by five pipe. You see where we've got the mounts for the uh, battery box holder, then the frame, the, the battery box holder itself. We just got the angle iron frame with the two supports on the end. And then we just put three eighths, uh, basically two and a half inch, three eighths inch bolts to hold that on so it can be removed if you don't need it. You don't want to have a battery box. Um, the cover, it's light gauge, 16 gauge. So we just got that tack welded on top just to provide some protection uh, for the great motor that's going to be underneath. Um, 
the actual tabs themselves, you can see we've got them welded pretty much just from the outside. Uh, again, we've got some skip welds holding the one and a half inch tube to the three by five. Um, so that's all pretty straightforward. And then now, let me just lift this thing up so we can see underneath here for a sec. All right, so underneath, so now you can see we've got the uh, bottom of the risers, the three by five risers. We've got them drilled out for the bolt pattern for the wheels. Um, here again, you can see some welds holding the one and a half inch tube together. And then you see this mounting bracket here. Uh, this is gonna hold the great motor. Uh, the, the issues on this is to make sure, make sure these bends are facing in towards the reactor. Um, and then also in the bolt pattern on this that's got the tube, make sure those are pointing down to the ground. That will orient your great motor up to the top here, not, not hang down low. So that's what the underneath looks like. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, all we need to do now is go ahead and paint it up and then we're done with this assembly. All right, so here's the completed uh, base assembly painted. Got the uh, battery box attached. See underneath, we've got the motor mount, so it's all ready to go. Uh, the old critical thing on this is make sure that the space between the two risers uh, is 35 inches so that the condensate tube can fit down in there. Make sure that the mounting plate on the bottom, the, that the bends are facing in towards the reactor. And then when we put these uh, support uh, brackets on to mount the tanks, uh, use a jig to fit them, you know, leave a little bit of a gap, maybe an eighth of an inch gap, so that you've got a little bit of wiggle room when you position the reactor tank and position the filter in place. And then you can just drill through those holes into the tank and then put in a one inch, three eighths inch bolt uh, to secure it in place. But uh, that's the assembly, it's pretty straightforward. It's a great assembly to start with. Um, uh, let's go ahead and let's move on to the next.